Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom on the Nintendo Switch of course and today we are going to continue with our adventure and we have so far closed most of the large rifts on the map here the one up uh, by where we are now, the Jabal Waters and of course the one in the Gerudo Desert and I think, yeah, the last thing we heard is that we pr probably should head back to Lubri's, I think I pronounced that right, L Lubri's house, um, just to update everyone, Lubri's house, yeah, um, and also probably head back uh, to Suthorn Village just to see if we've missed anything, and, and also upgrade our sword and things like that, and I thought, instead of just warping there, we might uh, do a little bit of exploring around here, and then head over to the Great Fairy again so we can buy our next upgrade for our accessories, because currently, we have a whole bunch of accessories. In fact, I'm going to change some now. Back to the heart. And yeah, that should be good. Um, so we should be able to hold another one. We should have enough rupees. There we go, 432. So yeah, we'll head that way now. I'm just going to get the... Uh, probably the trampoline out is the best one for now. And we're just going to make our way over here. Ooh. Hey. I visited Seaside Village to shop when uh, this little Hylian asked to be her uh, asked me to be her swimming coach. Hi. Coach, now what? I want to swim faster. Hmm. Yeah, yes, of course. It will take time, and you'll need to build up your strength. Uh, but do you remember to eat well, play well, and sleep well? Good advice. Okay, so this is a tiny little village. I don't think there's anything new is going to be here. I do love that we can jump on like everything though. Anyway, we need to. Swim towards Lake Hylia, which is over the uh, past the Zora Cove. So we're going to head that way. See what we can see. We we pretty much have... Um, I feel like we've found everything that we're going to find. Um, is there going to be something under that? Um, get it! Actually, we've got a better... Uh, thing than that now. There we go. We have been in that cave, but I was just trying to wonder if we could just call you back for a second so you don't keep getting in our way. There's a rock down there. It doesn't look like we can grab it. Oh, interesting. Okay, we just made it up there. Uh, but yeah, we have been all through here, so I don't think we're going to be missing anything. Um, but there is a little area just to the south of here that we haven't actually been to yet. I know some people are exploring the whole of Hyrule before doing the quests. So the bit we haven't been to is just around here. Can we get through? Oh, just about. Oh, some moblins over there. Here we go. Oh, the Farron Wetlands. Cool. Listen to the music change. That sounds so familiar. Interesting. Well, we've obviously got to go there at some point, so... That's j I just wanted to check that wasn't somewhere we needed to be, but we can head down here and, and back over here. Because we love to explore. We could probably take this uh, enemy out. Get him. Oh, you missed. Whoa, double boomerang. How are you floating? This looks like a tougher enemy. Sword and shield as well. Ooh. They <laughs> landed on him. Oh, we're too far away to pick him up. There we go. If we just hold him. Uh oh. Oh, he can attack us. 
Okay, our moblin is not doing very good. Take him out! Can we steal his shield? There we go. Hit him again! Take his shield! We took his shield! Nice! Oh. Can we take his sword as well? Moblin! Okay, turn around! Wow, our Moblin is not very clever. Are they attacking each other? Okay, good. Woo! That was a bit of a mission. It's just like my Moblin wouldn't do what I needed it to do. We got there in the end. I knew that was new. It looked tougher, doesn't it? Level 2. Only a level 2 though. I thought it was going to be... Um, High, higher than that, but well done, sort of. <laughs> right, we found ourselves a chest that we haven't got yet. And it's some dried up seahorses. Is that down there? Oh, so we are near where we need to be, but got a little bit of an area here to explore. It's like a waterfall. Oh, cool! Some rocks to climb. This takes us into the Farren wetlands, I guess. So I just kind of want to check that we're not missing any... like, rocks that might have some mighty crystals under, or might crystals. Seems we are heading back to Lubri's house. Oh, there's a stamp! Stamper down there. I do wonder whether some stamps only appear when you get some other stamps, or... Oh, we're heading into a whole new grassy bit. Interesting. Well, let's get this stamp first. I don't know if we'll be able to get back up here. But we will try. Yeah, so I wonder if these five only appear um, when you get the second card. Right, are we going to be able to get back up again? Just about. There's the first dungeon. It's so cool that we can walk on the trees. It's like, what a, what a good idea. It really makes the world feel even more open. Than it is, if that makes sense. We're gonna be able to get back up here. There we go. Ah, made it! So this looks like a new route. Reminds me of like a Pokemon route. There's something here. We've got some enemies to face, it looks like. Get it! Can we make them fight each other? Oh, it got us! We'll hold it still for you. Hey, teamwork! <laughs> Do we, can we just hurt enemies by throwing try at them? Look at the jungle down there. Wow. One day there's going to be something cool in these chests. I know we're supposed to be making uh, smoothies though, aren't we? Oh yeah, I forgot we've got the water cube now, so if we do want to climb up anywhere, it's much easier just to use the water cube, probably. And you have to be a little bit more accurate with your positioning, but you can get quite high, and it's probably quicker than stacking beds. 
Oh, what are you? Have we got one of you before? Get it again! I thought that was new. A mini Moldorm Echo. Skittering through its mountain home on many legs. It does have many legs. This uh, creature's quick and erratic movements confound foes. Right, can we actually move these? Yeah, nothing under here. I'm always suspicious of these rocks. Like, what are they? It's like they, they look like they should be revealing something. Can we blow them up? I'm terrible at locking onto things. Um, I can't lock lock onto the fish. I have such bad luck with this fish. There we go. I don't think it, it's going to reveal anything. It looks like we just now get back up to where we need to go. It's gonna take us back. Oh, this is, we're still on a new bit here. We haven't been through these like woods yet. And we've totally gone past the Great Fairy where we were supposed to be going. Is there gonna be anything? Oh, there's a chest. A random chest. We don't even have to do anything to claim it. And that's the easiest 50 rupees we'll learn today. How did you miss? How did you miss? <laughs> okay, there's gotta be more here than just a chest. Or are we expected to have come all this, all this way to get a chest? Get that. Snake. So it's going to be an exploring kind of day, which is the best days. There's definitely nothing else up here. That's the main route, isn't it? To the, the first dungeon. There's that little lake that we first swam in. So really, I think we were supposed to come up here just to go and get that chest of 50 rupees at the start of the game. But we uh, didn't have it. Can we get up to this mountain? I would love them to make seasons and ages still. Oh, it's the border. But in, in this art style, I think it would be great and make them open world as well. Like, as open world as Echoes of Wisdom. Right, we still need to go to Lubri's house, but we're closer to Suthorn Village now after our little uh, little exploration. So we might as well head there. I just want to check in, make sure we're not missing any side quests at this point. I'm sure they would have something above their head if they did have anything that we needed to do. Uh, can you believe it? My wife is back home, safe and sound. I didn't know what to do when I saw her swept up in that rift. So anyway, that cloak of yours is just like Lynx. Is that uh, what's in style right now? I guess so. So this is supposed to be Lynx's house, isn't it? Definitely nothing in here for us to do. Apart from take a nap if we want to. Oh. Just steal some of his goods. I wonder if we can set this thing on fire yet. Yep. I know we've already tried, what haven't we, sort of? <laughs> we can't lock onto anything, no. I wonder why, I mean, maybe it plays a part at the end of the game thinking about it. That would make sense, once we rescue Link I'm sure we'll come back here. Yep. 
There wasn't a shop in this town, was there? Yeah. Thanks for helping me out earlier. My wife and I are going to give some good thought to where we're going on our trip. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get. Only joking. Sorry about that. I have to break a pot every time we go in someone's house. This little field here reminds me of the one in uh, Link's Awakening. <laughs> Next to the shop. Speaking of shops, they do have a shop. I forgot. Nothing that we need, though. I was hoping to buy some, like, weapons or even echoes or something that we could actually use. Okay, then. Let's head up to... Oh, was that the cave with the wall in that we couldn't do? Because we have a climbing spider now. Not it's the, the best way up, but... Let's just go remind ourselves. There was one... There was one um, cave that we... There was two caves. One we marked. Um, I can't remember if we went back there in the end or not. Uh, here. No. Here. I can't remember if we went back there or not. But there was another cave that we couldn't get in. Oh, it's attacking us. Uh oh. Ah! Get it! It's chasing me! Uh oh. Whoo! Yeah, so we tried to climb this before, didn't we? Or did we end up getting up here in the end? I, I don't remember. You, this is the only downside to wanting to explore so many areas, like, just randomly and keep going back to places. You forget, like, if you actually did stuff in the end. Or at least I do, anyway. Um, which, hopefully, my memory is endearing and not annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can use this now. Aha, uh -huh, there is a chest up here. So this is the one we left behind because we couldn't climb up the wall. Another 50 rupees. Thank you very much. Woohoo! So that, that leaves just that one cave that we didn't go in. So this is the one we actually got to whilst exploring the <laughs> Gerudo Desert. Like we were exploring this area and we kind of walked along here and ended up all the way up here. Right, um, I think we can't get up there. So I'm going to quickly go to Lake Hylia and get to the Great Fairy before I spend my rupees on something else. Nicely done. Right, we're gonna have to swim. It's just over here. Is there anything we can do about this tiny rift? Oh. A small rift. I can create an entrance here. Is that to stand back? Oh, what are we doing? A mini rift. I wasn't expecting to go into a rift today. I thought this was just kind of a decoration to show that there's still rifts somewhere. I can sense my friends here, they're trapped. They're trapped in three areas to be exact. If we rescue them, we can fix this rift. Okay. Okay, well there's one. Um, we should probably go ahead and Look at them! Wow! 
They're angry. Oops. <laughs> Don't walk backwards. Yeah, get it. Nice. Oh, so we, we're going to have to check all the, 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 like, the mini rifts as well. Um. We're going to have to check the mini rifts as we, uh, see them now. Because I thought this was just kind of decoration. I didn't realize it was actually... Oh, interesting. Can we check it? How can we check it? Um, do we blow it up? Thank you for letting me know about moving the fish with try, by the way. Oh, we can just move it like this. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing I'm having trouble in this game is targeting. It always goes on to the wrong one. Right, let's grab some air quickly. It looks like we can go in here. Anything in here? No, it's just blocking the way. Um, oh. Uh-oh. Let's <laughs> just throw it off the edge. Zelda has a lot of faith in, uh, just floating in the air. So we're looking for one more. I'm guessing we have to get over. Oh, there's a tunnel. There it is. Can't move it. Hmm. Why can't we move this one? Oh, we can move it. What is going on? Didn't look like it, it wasn't letting me move it to start with. Right, we, we did it. A mini rift. That was quick. We found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. I suppose this is the size they normally are, where their friends just um, fix them before they became the larger rifts. There we go, our nice little try dance as we like to call it. Very mesmerizing and satisfying. And should give us a little level up as well, which is nice. Probably won't go up a level level, but... My friend shared some of their power with me. Oh, we might. Oh, no, only a little bit. So yeah, there must be entrances to the little rifts as well. I didn't realize that. So let's get back to your world now. Okay. That was a nice little mini... It's like a mini dungeon, isn't it? So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for more of them. So they must be here as well. And this looks like... I don't know what this area is. But it looks like it leads up to the castle. So it could just be the castle grounds. Those are the only little two ones that are left. All right, we're supposed to be going to the Great Fairy, so let's get that done before we get distracted again. Oh no, not these things. There we go, we made it. Oh. Hey. 
Are you home? <laughs> I really love this art style so much because it, it is like such a good blend of like top down 2D sprite Zelda and a 3D open world Zelda. Ah, oh, hello and welcome, of course. Can I help you? Make me more stylish. Oh, look at, uh, looking to polish your style. Oh, well, I'm afraid the cost has risen to 300 rupees. Are we going to find another great fairy and the prices won't have increased? Or are we, are we just going to do it now anyway, aren't we? We need that extra space potentially. How I adore rupees! Mm, as promised, I will enhance your style. What exactly is a great fairy spending rupees on though? I have to I have to wonder. So hopefully we should get another slot. Your accessory limit has been has risen by one. There we go. With even more rupees, you can make it even more stylish, you know. How much is it gonna cost this time? 500? <laughs> yeah, 500. Well, we're not that far away, to be fair. Um, I'd like to get another bottle at some point as well, like a fairy bottle. Looks like we can get four of them, because uh, this is our fairy bottle here. So, accessory-wise, we may as well put on... Uh, get more rupees, get more hearts, and swim faster. I think. This is for the Gerudo Desert, so you don't sink in quicksand. This is to uh, get more energy, which we don't really need either of those at the moment, I don't think. So, there we go. Probably on our way to getting another accessory at some point. Right, let's head back to Lubri's uh, house now. We've kind of gone around the map a little bit. Opened up some of the... Uh, opened up some of the regions down here that we haven't got a few chests. Upgraded our accessories, did a little bit of exploring, closed a mini rift. Wait, where do we want to go? It's best just to stay up on this cliff, actually. So we've got a long way around getting back to Lubri's house. Just dropping in. Okay, we should be able to upgrade our thing. I imagine there's going to be a cutscene or lots of dialogue here as well. Welcome back, princess. I imagine you've got a lot to catch up on. Go on, then. Uh, so despite mopping up those rifts, there's still no sign of the king or Link. Alas, my king, where could you be? Uh, your persistence has paid off, princess. Thank you for taking care of those rifts. That leaves just one large rift. Uh, the one lo- Oh, yeah, there's one at the castle. In Hyrule Castle. Oh, right. That's the one that took these two as well as his majesty. Our magnanimous king is in the... What a word. Is in the rift even now. And whilst we stand here yarring away, there's frauds are waltzing around the castle. General Wright, calm yourself. Princess, Mr. Lubri, uh, Minister Left... <laughs> as Hyrule's general, I cannot stand idly by. Uh, off you go then. <laughs> um, what is it you intend to do then? Take action. Obviously, I'm going to expose the true identities of those imposters tainting our beloved castle. Oh, see ya. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, General Wright, for the love of... Yeesh, uh, we aren't we're uh, even done talking. That guy can't stand still for long, can he? That's alright. Well, I guess we're going to head back to the castle now. It gives us a chance to explore all those homes at the castle, those buildings. Well, back to it. You mentioned you've yet to find Link. I hope he's alright. So I'm guessing you need to head to the castle too then. Those fakes are after your head, princess, so please proceed with the utmost caution. We will. Uh, what do you want to enhance? So we haven't done our bow yet. Um, oh, we can only do our bow. We don't have enough for the others, so. I thought we'd have loads of upgrading to do. But we're, while we're here, we do, do our bow. We should probably use the bow more. I just wish we could stay, or not even stay as Link, but I wish we could use the sword and bow. The echoes are really cool for navigating, but I do kind of miss, at this stage, kind of miss, uh, like, the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, oh, when sword fighting form, press X to send an arrow flying. Hold X to charge and release the three arrows. Wow. 
and you can target as well. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't have anything else that we can enhance at the moment. We've only got six toilet crystals. Right. So off to the castle then. So it's not far away. I'm going to go investigate these rifts first though. They might just be tiny little rifts that we can't actually get into. Um. Oh, not getting past. This is a shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the prank that blocked it off? We could clear it for you. I hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. Don't worry, we've got you. There we go. Can we not just do this? How much do we have to do to unblock it? Oh. Oh, we missed it. Oh wow, we can take two at a time. There you go, putting them neatly. So what ranch are you talking about? Well, not as if standing here is going to get the junk out of my way. Ah, oh, not sure how much longer I can just wait here. Wait, is there more? Oh no. It's clear, and the road cleared out. I won't have to break uh, my back climbing over that stuff. Ooh. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks, that's a big help. Here's something for your trouble. 20 rupees. We're gonna have to try and remember what color rupees are worth what. Red is 20. Ah, oh, cool breeze, a clear path, a sweet taste of convenience. <laughs> yeah, the world is too convenient these days, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, Hyrule Field. That makes sense. Uh, Hyrule Ranch, Hyrule Castle. So these are the rifts that we can see. Doesn't look like we can get in them. Yet, anyway. Get it! Could try out our bow, I suppose. Whoa, we missed! That wasn't as effective as I was hoping it was gonna be. Right, that's the cave we just went into. Might explore Hyrule Field a little bit. exactly where I wanted it, but it'll work. Yeah, jump over the fence and get that thing! There we go, we did it. Teamwork again! These moblins are toast! And we got some fresh milk! These are the sort of things we've been getting out of the amoeba as well. So mostly moblins here, it seems. We have walked along this cliff already. When we were coming back from the Gerudo um, desert. But we haven't explored the actual field. Where's this heading? It's up, heading up to a whole new region. We probably don't want to get too far ahead. Let's go, let's turn back this way. Um, there's something in the center here. Aha! A heart piece! Oh! 
got hit by that thing just so we picked up the heart piece. You got a piece of heart, collect four, and your maximum heart numbers will increase. Uh, so I don't know, I haven't been counting how many we've been getting. But I imagine we still have quite a few to go. Let's see where we're at with heart pieces. Yeah, so we've got two out of, whoa. Um, why am I locked onto the snake when that thing's right near us? That's what I'm talking about with this uh, locking thing. It's, it does the weird, you think it would just automatically lock on the nearest one, but it lo it just locks on like, a random one on screen, it locked onto this snake that was miles away from us when we were trying to attack that plant. That's the only criticism I've got of this game so far. And that's, it, it's a hardly a criticism, is it? It's just like the slight negative. It just means you have to work a little bit harder to aim what you want to. So it's not even a big deal, but I feel bad even calling it a criticism now, but you know what I mean. All right, how do we get out of here? So these are the rifts that don't have any entrance yet. We're only 200 away from getting, uh, being able to get another accessory. What do we have over here? Ooh, there's gotta be something under that plant. It's some stairs or something like that, maybe? Oh, there we go, Mike Crystal. Could have used that earlier. But it recharged us, which is good news. Just keep checking the map, because we do keep kind of opening up new areas. So we've kind of got to this dotted line here now. Uh, so I think we'll head back round by the river and head back into the castle. Can we get inside? Oh, hey. Hey, hi and hello, acorn gathering. Give it a go. Fun to snag and fun to bag. Gathering acorns is never a drag. All you gotta do is pick up the acorns that scatter about. If you're fast, you'll even get a prize. Uh, okay. We should be good at collecting acorns by now. Hooray, time to gather. Oh, you just toss them everywhere, okay. So they're all in the river. All up, all up the river, okay. So we've got our swimming stuff on, so you need to pick up 10 acorns. The goal at time is 22 seconds, okay. I feel like, can we get heart pieces from this? Three, four, five, six. Oh, sneaky. Six, seven, ooh, eight, nine, Ten! We did it! I feel like, yeah, it's, these are the sort of mini games that also offer heart pieces as prizes sometimes. At least they would in other games. Nice work, you got all the acorns! Your time is 17.97 seconds! You were amazing! We could have gone faster, we missed a couple there and had to circle back. Alright then, uh, it's prize time! We got 20 rupees. That was not worth it. If you can do it faster, I'll give you even more prizes! Okay, let's try again then. So it seems we're 10 rupees up, we're not losing anything. I mean, should we be getting an echo out to tackle the, the fish or should we just try and dodge them? Um, okay, let's go. So we've got to be, I'm guessing faster than our, our previous time. Oh, I missed one. You do not want to miss one. Oh, I can just dive. Oh no! 
Did we do it quicker? If we did, we should have only beat it by like one second and then it would have been easier to beat our own time. I think we might have beat it. Nice work, you got all the acorns! 16.7! I think we could do it in 15 seconds. Is there, there's got to be a better prize than that. Wow, that was lightning fast. So fast, in fact, that you get the special one-time bonus. Oh, three mic crystals. Okay. Come visit again. Oh, there's a door. We can't get in. Zol, zol, zols. Hey. Oh. Hi, Miss Lady. I got a question. Have you ever seen a zol? Are there small little monsters you can find all around here? I saw a picture in the encyclopedia from my dad. Zols are round and wiggly and so super cute. It's, uh, isn't it kind of weird that monsters can be cute? Well, I've only seen them in pictures, so I don't know. Maybe they're scary in real life, but I can't stop thinking about zols. Uh, maybe if I could look at a Zol, I'd stop thinking about Zol, 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 Zol. That could be arranged. We can find our Zol. There we go. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there it is! That's one! A Zol, it looks just like the uh, picture in my encyclopedia! Ah, oh, that wiggly body, those big round eyes, it's so adorable! I just knew it would be cute, even though it's also a monster. Thanks, Miss Lady. Now I like Zols even more. Oh, and did you know there's all kinds, all different kinds of Zols? There's even Zols that are like candles. It might be cool to see one of those too. Okay, we can have that arranged. We've also got a water one, haven't we? Here's a candle one. There it is. That's one. My gosh, an Ignizol! It's totally different from the green Zol. It looks like a candle. Wait, the normal Zols are green? What? Oh, it's like they're brown. Um, but it's really hot. Wow! <laughs> yeah, don't get too close. I think I'm gonna melt! Can people melt? Uh, yes. <laughs> Big flame! Yeps. Uh, oh, yipes even. I know Zols are monsters, but they're such interesting monsters. Thanks, Miss Lady. Now I like Zols even more. Well, after all that talking, I think I need a glass of water. Oh, that reminds me. Have you heard of hydrozoles? They're zoles that get bigger when they're wet. My mama said she used to see them. Do you think maybe you could show me a hydrozol next? The big one full of water. I mean, we do. Ha I'm sure we picked it up. Did we ended up trying to use it to put out a fire, didn't we? Here it is. Here's a hydrozol. <laughs> Whoa! That's it! That's it! <laughs> it's a Hydrozol! Why does Hydrozol sound like a Pokemon? Uh, but it looks way smaller than the one in my encyclopedia. I think it could be cool to see a bigger Hydrozol. Oh, how do you get a bigger one? Wait, can we make our own big one? Like, if we do this, and then do... Whoa! <laughs> it worked! I can't believe that worked! There it is! That's one! Wow, that one's huge! It's bigger than my bed! You know, there are so many kinds of Zols and they're all so different. Some light up like candles, some get in water and they go all big like whoop! <laughs> what I want to know is, how did the same thing become so many different things? That's just a good question. Uh, I know they're monsters, but they're really interesting and fascinating and cool. Anyway, thank you, Miss Lady. I like Zols even more now. Here's a, uh, a good thing my papa gave me. Oh, I was hoping for something cooler than that. Uh, you got a mic crystal. You can use it at enhancements at Lou Bree's home. Uh, you know, um, all the Zoles you've bought are bigger. I uh, brought are ones that show up my encyclopedia, sorry. Uh, I bet there's a Zol out there that my encyclopedia doesn't know about. I can't think of what it looked like, though. Not right now, anyway. Probably an electric one, maybe? If I think of another Zol, though, I'll be sure to ask you to show it to me. That was a cool little side quest, and, and because we didn't catch it at the start of the game, we already oops, we already had all of all of the the Zols. We'd already met them all. Um, okay, I accidentally walked out of the house again, so we need to go back in. There we go. Hello. Uh, with these rifts everywhere, I can't help but worry for the folks in my hometown. 
There's a small village east of here called Seaside Village. My dad's there, living by himself. I hope it's okay. <laughs> what? You're saying the rift's been done away with? What a relief. Thank you for letting me know. No problem. Ah. Uh, books give you knowledge, and knowledge makes you live uh, life richer. Had I learned that when I was younger, I'd have read a lot more books. <laughs> Don't worry about us. We have to do it. It's like in the rules. Okay, so it's cool checking out all these uh, little houses. They just look, they're so cute. They literally look like the, uh, they literally look like Animal Crossing houses. Hey. Uh, come, uh, claiming that the Princess Zelda created the rifts. Even the king says so. Would the princess really do such a thing? Uh, no. Okay, <laughs> this is fun smashing the pots. So there's a lot of buildings here to check out. Oh, there's a mini rift. A very tiny rift in a building that we can't get in. Aww. So I don't understand why the princess would do this to us. Opening rifts in the castle town, in the castle itself, even, ju uh, just horrible. I can almost guarantee she didn't do it. Let's check out this well. Ah! Oh, it's an underground passage. Yeah. This is the great spot for slacking off. Just standing here, not a care in the world, or uh, a thought in my head. <laughs> well, you said it. Okay, it's got to be a secret passage, isn't it? Oh, is this is we battling training. General right doesn't seem normal. Same goes for Minister Left. Not that anyone would believe me, it's so unnerving, I can barely focus on training. Sorry, you don't escape the uh, pot throw either. Okay, so... Oh, we just... What? <laughs> We're going to stay in our room in the castle, but now they won't let us in. So, here we are. Camping outdoors makes me really miss our home. Oh. Our home has been in that awful state ever since the rift got a hold of it. Now we have to camp outside too. It's gone from bad to worse. Yeah. Hmm. Need something? Please don't go near the rift until we investigate what's happened. Though we can't even start until we get orders from the king or his advisors. Whoa, look at that. It's impressive. Uh. How tragic. The princess going missing again. My child's been inconsolable. I'm too, but... Uh, to be perfectly frank, I wonder where the princess could have gone. I can't imagine. I just hope those rumours going around about her aren't true. They're not. Don't believe anything you read or hear. Right. We have another person looking pretty sad. Are you okay? Oh, no. You're happy. I hear the road to the Suthorn village is open again. Now that the rift is gone, I just wish the rift in the Hyrule Castle town would go away too. We're working on it. There's not going to be a pot, pot left in Hyrule at this rate. Oh, a shop. Are you from out of town? I don't suppose you've heard about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Vanishing right after she'd returned? I hope she's alright. I'm sure she's fine. Something tells me she's okay. Oh, what have we got here? An accessory? Oh. A stone anklet. Oh, we haven't got enough. A heavy anklet that stabilises balance. Wearing it reduces knockback. Oh, cool. Can we, can we, can we sell some stuff? I want to buy it. I'm sure it's going to come in handy later in the game. Um, I'd like to sell, please. What have we got a loss of? We've got a lot of these seahorses, haven't we? We'll sell ten of those. Um, there we go. And we'll sell, while we're here, we'll sell ten of these. And we'll also sell 10 of these. We'll just clear up. Not that we need the pocket space, but we might as well get some rupees while we've got the shop open. We'll sell 10 of these. And I think we'll just do the apples as well. If we need to, we can scan Amiibo to get all this stuff back, basically. Um, let's do 10 of these as well. Oh, they're good ones. And we might as well do the salt as well. 
There we go. And we've almost got enough to go back to the uh, to the Great Fairy again. So we haven't really got knocked back, I would say, at the moment, but it's probably going to come in handy at some point. So, uh, thank you, Princess. Let's put it. Let's put it on now. Um, so let's take off the hearts one and put on the reduced knockback stone anklets. That's really cool. I like the accessories idea. Hey! Uh, please enjoy our store. Princess Zelda, go on riffs all over. What's going on? Uh, marvelous weather today, wouldn't you say? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, I've I've got the castle town noblewoman act down pat. Uh, no one would guess I'm a spy from Suthorn Village scouting out competition stores and <laughs> competing stores. Luckily, we have bigger things to worry about than spies. Uh, wanted Princess Zelda, if sighted, send word to the King of Hyrule. <laughs> uh, I finished the cleaning and the laundry and next dinner. My uncle's let me live here for a long time now. I bet he'd compl uh, complain if I stay this busy. Or doubt he'll complain, sorry. Yeah, that makes more sense. Hey. Uh, the soldiers are searching for the princess because she's behind the rifts. First they were searching everywhere to save her, now to capture her. This is bad. Some bad news. <laughs> uh, the guy in front of the house, all lost in thought. That's my dad. He used to go on lots of adventures, but then he married my mum and he stays home now. Ooh. Enough! I've told you not to say th things to strangers. I'm so sorry. This is mortifying. <laughs> Uh, sorry for being mortifying. Ah, oh. <laughs> he's settled down now. But my husband used to go on adventures all over Hyrule. Wherever I got worried for him, I went to meditate at the Northern Sanctuary. What did he do? Was he the was he the signpost person from Breath of the Wild? What was your name? Hey. Oh, you don't have a name. Oh, dog. Hey. I can't, oh, we can't, oh, we can't interact with the dog. Uh, just think, our own Princess Zelda is the one behind all these rifts. What a shame. It goes to show people are capable of anything. Oh, did you need something? You'll find uh, I'm too busy to chat unless it's important. Well, it depends what you consider important. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to talk to us. Fine. Be that way. Hey. This is from Link's Awakening as well. Uh, the king has stopped appearing in public. Same for the general and minister. And I heard that a rift opened up inside the castle. What's to come of Hyrule? A nice little... Oh, this is the training ground. I thought it was like a chapel or church or something. Hi. Oh, hi, princess. Oh, wait. You're someone else. Sorry. Yes, keep your voice down. Oh, interesting. What's behind here? Can we not get behind there? There's got to be a secret behind here. Oh, there's the rift. Oh, I thought there'd be a heart piece or something here. Okay, well, I guess all that's left to do is head into the castle itself. Ah. Princess Zelda went away again. What if she never comes back? <laughs> Something tells me she's already back. <laughs> Checking this side as well, obviously. It's gonna be like a door or something. Oh, there's a heart piece. Stumble across another heart piece. We're up to three now. It doesn't tell you. We have to, we have to go and look at each time. So we're up to three now. Uh, so we've gone around the back. So there's nothing too much to see around here apart from the moat. I imagine 
that heart piece was the secret of coming around the back of the castle. What if these guards are going to kick us off the roof, are they? Or can we talk to them? The castle town's gloomy, so I watch today, and I'll be on watch tomorrow too. Okay. Don't mind me. Just making water float. Oops. This would have been the place to put a heart piece. <laughs> Castle's on alert right now. I'm not letting anyone through now. Uh, go on, away with you. How are we going to get in? Huh. Castle's on alert right now. Oh, how do we get in then? Um, General Wright headed towards Hyrule Castle. He plans to expose the true identities of the imposters in hopes of saving the King of Hyrule, who's still trapped in a rift. Minister Left followed General Wright, hoping to stop him. And that is where we are. Or do I? Oh, do, oh. <laughs> It's because we didn't go through the main gates. <laughs> we skipped the story <laughs> by jumping over the wall. <clears throat> Why won't you believe me? Look at me. Listen to me. Behold, clearly you can see that I'm your general. <sighs> it's just as I said, general. The imposters have taken control of our kingdom. The king told us to be on the lookout for imposters like you wandering around. You're the real deal. If you're the real deal, then tell me the password. You should know it unless you're bluffing. The password? That's right. The king said a password. If you're who you say you are, then you'll know it. I see. Clearly, the fraudulent king is trying to frame us as the imposters. This is preposterous. Those frauds uh, outmaneuvered us. <laughs> They're the real left and right. Oh. <laughs> How did I not twig that to, to start with? Left and right. <laughs> but these people think they're imposters. This is kind of a mess. All right, listen up. The king, general, and minister in the castle are fakes, frauds, phonies. <laughs> yeah, they don't believe us. General Wright, uh, let's revise our strategy. They certainly won't believe us now. But if I can just... Uh-oh. Huh? The, the rift! Oh, it's consuming more of the castle! Run! <laughs> oh, dear. Uh-oh. Oh my! Are we gonna have to take these out? Oh, oh no! The castle town! The rift is pulling pulled people in! What should we do? Oh. Pull it together! Huh? You are soldiers of high rule, so soldiers, what is your duty? Huh. To to protect the people! Oh. Correct! And you know your duty well. Now then, brave soldiers of Hyrule, guide all of those who are fleeing to safety. I'll seek out anyone else who's been left behind. Together, we will protect our people. Yes, sir. <coughs> this is terrible. Princess, you're the only one who can mend the rift. Please, rescue those who've been taken. I'll help with the evacuation. I mean, how are we going to get in? We're going to have to find an entrance. Okay, let's have a little update. Um... Hyrule Castle has been swallowed by a giant rift minister left and general right, <laughs> left and right, rushed in to save those who haven't escaped yet. Uh, they asked you to save anyone else who's been taken by the rift, so we need to go in. Hang on! The coast is not clear. Maybe it's below us. What? Where did you go? 
Found it. There's a place down below where I should be able to create an entrance to the rift. Let's make our way underground. Well, there's only one way we can get underground. And that is down the well. Yep. That's the only place we went underground, isn't it? Aha! Hey, you still you still just chilling? Yeah, it's not like there's something bad's happening upstairs. You, you're probably better off just staying down here in all honesty. I was napping, uh, working here at the bottom of the well, and before I knew it, monsters! Monsters down here, monsters up there. Well, what are we going to do? Let's go back to sleep. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. Here goes. See, it's a good job we did what we did in the order that we did, because then we need to come straight down here. Okay, jumping in. Right. Oh, we're, we're, we're now in the castle. Um, I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. So we're now entering the still world. Um, are we in the still world? Part of the castle in the still world. So, yeah, let me know what you thought of this. Uh, this episode, are you enjoying the series? Are you enjoying the game? Let me know your thoughts on Echoes of Wisdom. So far, I'm having a lot of fun. I think everybody else is as well. It's uh, it's really good. Um, the only issue I am having is targeting. Is It's really hard to directly target something and to switch between targets. But other than that, really brilliant. Love the art style. Love the story. Love the game. I hope you're loving the Let's Play as well. So thank you so much for watching. Of course, a huge shout out to the channel members as we could not do this without you. So thank you for supporting this channel and helping us continue with daily uploads. I really, 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 really appreciate it, as does everyone watching, so thank you so much. And yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day, and see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye!